laid on day 1B of the Card Player Poker Tour Bicycle Casino Main Event, a controversial hand arose that left a player eliminated from the tournament despite tabling the best hand. The player, Dan De Silva, did not realize that he had the best hand until a few moments later, and by that point the TDA rules were clear that he must remain eliminated. The bike and its player-friendly tournament director Mo Fatapur graciously decided to refund De Silva his buy-in due to the dealer oversight, and De Silva has returned to play Day 1C. Card Player TV caught up with him before play began to learn more. Uh, yesterday I was uh, late level 10. I was all I went um, all in with with seven of diamonds, eight of hearts. After there's already a shove before me, it ended up being called by a third player. So it was pretty much me and the other short stack about the same amount of chips. I had a small little side pop more, and we got called. The hands got tabled. It was uh, seven, eight, two nines with a heart, two tens with a heart. The, the flop when we all went in was six of hearts, five of hearts, deuce of spades. The short stack with tens kind of walked around. A, a guy Eric I've played with a lot. Nice guy, and the board ran out seven of hearts, four of hearts. As soon as I saw that, I said, hey, I got the straight, and then I realized there was four hearts on the board, and uh, Dewey next to me had both covered, had nine of hearts, and some of the table was like, no, 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 ten of hearts to the winner, ten of hearts to the winner. Eric comes back to the table to celebrate. The dealer, instead of uh, pushing the cards up, showing the winner, just, just you know, mucks the hands, uh, puts the pot to the side. I'm walking out uh, of the casino like, all right, and I'm kind of kind of my pot, you know, my outs in the pot. I'm like, well, I picked up the seven on the turn, so I had eight outs, no, but the four hearts is no good. And then I started four, five, six, seven. I said, oh, man, I had the eight of hearts. Like, I had the straight flush. So I come back in. I'm trying to, like, jog back in the, in the poker room. Security's stopping me. So I get in, like, two hands too late. I come to the table. I'm like, I got the eight of hearts. I had the straight flush. Um, Eric, you were there. You were like, no, no, you, had, you didn't have the straight flush in your hand. I said, no, 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 it ran out. And you kind of looked at your the hand you wrote down. You saw it was seven and four. And everybody was so much commotion going on there that nobody really realized I had the winning hand. So unfortunately, it was two hands too late, TDA rule 18, I couldn't come back in the tournament. Uh, I play here a lot, I, I talk to the floor, I let them know what's going on. Uh, you actually show them your notes. And thank God, Mo, great tournament director here, decided to give me my buy-in back. So I'm using that good karma to take that buy-in back and just instead of just taking the money, buying into today. Unfortunately, I was sleeping last night and it was so late. This morning, I find out what was the uh, decision. Decision is right and it made. Because of TDA rule, it says when the next hand is begin, all decision regarding previous hand is end already. Therefore, his hand is dead, and we continue the playing. But because of bike as known as a taking care of the players, I was thinking it is better if I give him his buy him back, give him one more chance for one C. Maybe he get it there. Then I called him, I told him, come on there, I give you buy-in, and he's really happy. I think from my VR point, it is the best uh, solution for that. De Silva plays at the bike often, and is a big fan of the poker room. So I play mostly like PLO out here, and I'm just glad that this is, to me, this is my favorite room in LA. There's a lot of other rooms, it's a bigger, there's a bigger room for sure out here, but to me, this is my, my favorite room, and they, and Mo shows the kind of class these guys have, and the kind of, uh, treatment they do to the players. So. Fathapur noted that the fact that De Silva is a regular did not factor into his decision to refund his buy-in, however. No, I, yeah, actually I didn't know who is the player. I just saw the name. For me, actually it doesn't matter who's the player. My friend, my enemy, actually I don't have an enemy. My friend or anyone, big player or a small player, it doesn't matter. My decision is before I see the player, I make my decision, solution, and then I do it. De Silva has taken a seat for day 1C, and he expressed his thanks to the Bicycle Casino and Mo, tweeting that it was a world-class poker room. Stay tuned for more updates from the inaugural Card Player Poker Tour Bicycle Casino main event right here on Card Player TV.